everybody and welcome back to Leon Talks Film. So today I have a movie review for you and it is of a film that came out last year in 2021 and that is the film starring Nicolas Cage called Pig, directed by Michael Sarnowski. Sarnowski, I hope I pronounced his name right. If um, he's watching this and I pronounced your name wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is a film that came out last year and there were trailers for it and people thought, oh, it's John Wick with Nicolas Cage, you know? It's a film about a guy, a truffle hunter, and his truffle pig is kidnapped and he wants it back. And it was advertised as a thriller of sorts, like not an action film necessarily, but it seemed like it was gonna have like kind of action undertones. It was gonna get a bit violent. And then people watch a film and realize that's not really what it was going for whatsoever. And yeah, I just finished rewatching it. And I've gotta say, I've gotta say on this second watch, it kind of just clicked for me. Like the first watch, it was solid. It was a solid, solid viewing experience. But the second watch just kind of, wow. It like really, really, resonated with me and I found it to be super super emotional and really upsetting actually it's like a really really beautiful film the thing that uh, really caught me off guard both times I watched this film was the cinematography the cinematography here is nothing short of stunning every single frame in this is a painting it's like you could take any shot and put it on that one perfect shot Twitter account and you would have a field day every single shot looks absolutely immaculate and I love that about it. I think the Blu-ray transfer here from Altitude is incredible. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And even though this Blu-ray doesn't have any bonus features, if you can get this for a good price, pick it up. I got it for about $5.99 on Amazon and I have no regrets in purchasing that. I know there's a US Blu-ray. Don't know if it comes with bonus features or not, but honestly, this transfer is stunning. So I'd highly, highly recommend it just based on the transfer alone. But yeah, I think what this film kind of talks about, about class, about kind of a structure, kind of living a life and then leaving it behind, leaving your past life behind, all of the themes that it's really kind of touching on are really, really interesting. And as I mentioned in my pickup, video a few days ago. There's quite a bit of humor to this film as well, particularly in the editing. Uh, Alex Wolf is in this. Alex Wolf, you might know him from Hereditary or some other stuff. Uh, I've never really been a fan of him, like, at all, but I think this role of his is probably his best work, like, easily, easily. I think he's absolutely solid in this, and he's, like, really believable as his character because he starts out as a really obnoxious, whiny little brat, and that's how I've always seen Alex Wolf. So, uh, yeah, he, he he basically fits a role perfectly, but he actually has some character to his character. And Nicolas Cage, wow, what a performance. Like, the fact that this got snubbed at the Oscars makes me so sad. I know Neon was doing a For Your Consideration campaign and everything for Cage, and yeah, he just got completely snubbed, which is so, so upsetting because I think this is one of his best performances, probably top 10, and I am one of those people who thinks Nicolas Cage is probably the greatest actor of our generation. Like, no no irony, like everyone's like, haha, he freaks out a lot. I genuinely think Nicolas Cage is a fantastic actor, and anyone who says Vampire's Kiss is bad, nope. Nope. He's great in Vampire's Kiss and he's great in Pig. I think his performance as Rob, as Robin, is just so so subdued, it's so quiet, which is not what we're used to seeing from Nicolas Cage. Usually when you see a Nicolas Cage performance, you're expecting the freak out moment, you're expecting the crazy wacky moment, but you don't really get that here. There are scenes where he's portraying emotion, he's portraying anger, he's portraying sadness and stuff, but the scenes that really stick with me are when he's just quiet, when he's when he's just kind of living, you know? And it's a very, very quiet movie. I mean, it's only 90 minutes long, so it's not gonna take up too much of your time, but every single second feels perfect. There's no wasted time whatsoever. And I heard there was originally a cut of this film that was two and a half hours long. I think the current pace is perfect. I wouldn't add or remove a single thing from this. And I don't really see what you'd get from adding more to this film, um, but I do love the film. I absolutely adore the film. If I had to give it a score, probably would go from an eight to a nine out of 10, I think. It is truly fantastic. I can't wait to see what Michael does next. Uh, I know he's doing that spin-off in the A Quiet Place universe, so I'm really interested to see that, obviously. This is a very quiet film. Having him helm another film, another project that is quiet at the surface, sounds like a match made in heaven, in my opinion. If you haven't seen Pig already, bring the tissues. <laughs> You're gonna need them. You're definitely gonna need them, but 
Oh, what a film. What a film. I'd say this is one of the best films from 2021, and it's one that people do not talk about enough. There's been some traction of it, sure, and some people, especially people in, like, the, like, film circle and everything have seen it already, I'm sure, but, yeah, Pig. Amazing, amazing film. Really, really, really emotional, really beautiful, really poignant film. Is that the correct word? I hope that's the correct word. And yeah, it's just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment below and tell me what do you think of Pig. I'd love to know if you've seen it already in the comment section below. Anyway, stay safe, have a fantastic day, and I will speak to you all later. Bye!